Hello world, Chatty Dad One here with you today. So, what do you guys think about this Urban Shield thing that's going on out in Oakland, California? It's going to be happening here coming up this uh, this this next week. Um, there's hundreds of weapons arms manufacturers that have gotten together in Oakland there and they're having a big convention and they're showing off all of their new stuff all their new tech that they can gag you and bag you with um, you know and most of it is non-lethal weapons technology but even though it's non-lethal now immediate non-lethal it leaves a lasting effect upon the subject that it's used on like these tear gases um, this spray these the sound devices that they can hit you with um, the uh, the thing that they can hit you with that makes you feel like you're on fire if you're in the path of this frequency or beam um, there's so many more things than that that it, we have no idea the kind of tech that these people are showcasing right now um, down in Oakland California and they're going to be demonstrating these things in certain areas down there you know unleashing on the population fear and and, and all that kind of crap um, you know I personally think that it's sad that we are now seeing a reaction from the police that they're now killing people instead of disarming them and talking them down um, they're not taking any chances because the powers that be have told them that we the people hate them we're out to get them we're terrorists they've been told all these things and the cops are scared um, there used to be a lot that didn't wear their vests when they went out on patrol because it's uncomfortable and it's you know it's just cumbersome to wear and move around and get around in now you can't hardly find one who doesn't have it on because they're just you know they're absolutely been pumped full of lies and told to fear us that every one of us are armed and dangerous that every one of us are you know out to kill them if we get stopped to not take any chances they're told that the founding fathers were terrorists they're told all these things Militari militarized to the teeth and trained like soldiers okay now police are already trained to use their mind use their brains to investigate to look at all options to gather evidence bring things together to try to make a determination what really happened um, anymore they have uh, they're not using that so much as they're just using 
total force. Um, I'd really like to be down there at this conference with all these warlords, because that's what they are, warlords. Um, all these weapons, arms dealers, manufacturers, you know, a lot of them dealing in, in non-lethal technology. Some dealing in absolute devastating lethal technology. These drones that they're going to be flying are going to be sophisticated. They are going to be, what do they call it? Um, they're going to pimp them out with the most ultimate tech that you wouldn't believe. These things are going to hit you before you know that it's there. With who knows what. If they want you dead, you'd be dead. If they just want you um, subdued, you could be hit with a, a uh, dispersal round of gas that just totally knocks you out and everybody in you know a 50 foot radius or 100 foot radius just totally knock you unconscious and then they can come in and, and grab you up and bag you tag you and take you and, uh, and question you you know ask you what's going on what you're doing this that and the other thing Pay attention to the questions that cops are asking people. If you get pulled over next time, pay attention to the questions you're asked. Because you'll be asked things that you'll be like, why do you need to know this? Well, what, you know, why are you asking this stuff? Well, because they're trying to get information. Even though they have cameras on the interstates, they have cameras everywhere. The drones are going to be sophisticated with all these cameras that can see a dime. They, have, they can see the manufacturing date on a dime from a thousand feet in the air. Okay. They can tune in to the glass on your home and from the vibration of the glass on your home they can listen to the conversations going on inside now this isn't tapping your house this isn't wiretap this is listening to a piece of glass so it's a very it's like they're not invading your rights, but they are. They haven't gone onto your property, but they have. They've, you know, they're, it's, it's a really gray area that they have total control over these gray areas where there's no specific laws. So, and what I'm seeing right now is a reaction from what's going on with the cops. And that reaction is that people, the regular citizen, is becoming scared. More and more of them are buying guns and arming themselves. And they're scared of the cops too because the cops have been taught to fear us well we've seen what's happened with them with others and we fear them so now you've got we're scared of them they're scared of us this is perfect scenario for war this is how wars happen and break out so the stage is set for a 
potential disaster of every situation that can go down. So be careful out there. Um, you know, keep an eye on what's going to be going on with this with this urban shield. We need to watch this closely, and uh, you know, I feel for the people around the Oakland, California area. I'm sorry that this is happening to you, but it will be happening to the rest of us in due time. Anyway, I just wanted to bring that to you, talk to you a little bit about it. You know, what you think? I think it's a bad thing. I don't think they should have arms dealers whining and dining them and showing their little toys like it's health food or it's the greatest thing the greatest device that's ever been invented like it's a free energy bazaar or something <laughs> it's not good anyway this is chatty dad one I hope everyone's doing well on this Sunday morning and uh, I hope you're going to be able to get out today go see some of your loved ones who may be sick maybe in the hospital um, go see the shut-ins. Go do some good today. It's a perfect day to to to, to do it. Um, you know that's what the Sabbath was basically. It's what it's for, is so that we can go and and do these things and do works of love instead of work for money. And do work for love of people. But I hope everyone's doing well and having a great day. This is Chatty Dad. One, never give up your guns. Your rights go right along with them. Unless, of course, you don't have no other choice. But uh, make that decision now. What you're going to do, make a plan. And carry that plan out. Practice it. Make sure your family knows it. This is Chatty Dad. One. Over now.